Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. to my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is my family and before we get into any lessons boys and girls we need to sanitize so let us sing our special sanitizing song sanitize every day so the germs can stay away sanitize every day so the germs can stay away yay good job everyone for today's lesson we will be talking about emotions and art For our first fun activity today, boys and girls, let's turn to page 17. On page 17, you can see that we have some people and these people look like they are feeling different emotions. Now we are going to read the emotions on the picture cards and then we're going to try and act them out as well. The first person is happy. You can see that they are showing their teeth and their eyes are even showing that they're so happy they might even be closed. And they have a beautiful t-shirt that shows some sunshine, which means that he is very, very calm. Nothing is bothering him and he is enjoying the day. So let us try now and show a happy face. Let's take a look at what a happy face may look like. Now, if you are very happy, you can even cry with happiness. And if you are happy, we said that you show your mouth and your teeth and you have a big smile. So everyone, let's be happy. Well done, good job. Now let's take a look at the next emotion in our booklet. The next emotion in our booklet is sadness. Now when someone is very sad, you can see that the corners of their mouth go down and they look like they're about to cry. And when someone is very sad, they're not feeling okay. So we are going to act like we are sad. Everyone, let's try and be sad. Well done, good job. Now the next one that is close to sad is this one. So if your mouth is round and you look mm, <laughs> with your eyes also looking like they're very sad, then that we call a sad emotion. So we have a happy emotion and a sad emotion. Very good. Everyone, show me sad. 
Well done. Show me happy. Well done. Good job, everyone. Now, let's take a look at the next emotion in our booklet. In our booklet, we have another emotion that is called serious. Now, serious is not that you're angry, no. Serious just means that you're not joking around and that you are focused on whatever you are doing. So, if you are a serious person, that means there's no smiles. It's not a frown. Remember, when it's a frown, your face goes but when you're serious, the corners of your mouth stay the same. There we go. That is a serious face. Your eyes are focused on something. Good job, everyone. Now, I want you to show me your serious face. Well done. Now show me your happy face. Good job. Now show me your sad face. Very good, everyone. You're doing a good job. Now the last emotion you can see is of a girl. Ooh, and she does not look happy at all. That emotion we can call angry. Now when you're angry, you can see that your face is looking like they're about to explode your eyebrows they change and they come inside your face and your the corners of your lips are down so everyone show me angry well done everyone now show me sad good job you can see that there's a difference between ang sad or upset and angry. Angry, your eyebrows are deep in your head and you look like you want to beat someone. <laughs> and then when you're sad, it's very, very calm. Even though your mouth is still, your, the corners of your mouth are still down, your eyes will tell you that no, you are sad. Very good. So, we have done the four emotions. We have done happy. Show me happy. Very good. Then, we have done sad. Show me sad. Well done. Then, we have done serious. Show me serious. Good job. And last but not least, we have done angry. Show me angry. <laughs> well done, everyone. Good job. So I want you to please continue practicing and reading the emotions and even trying to act them out as well. In the meantime now, let us go to our next exercise on page 18. On page 18, we have a cute teddy bear. And instead of coloring the teddy bear like we always do, this time you are going to tear some papers and paste them on the teddy bear to form the teddy bear's body. Now this one is going to be very fun, but it needs two things that I want you to make sure that you have an adult around for. The first thing that you're going to need is a pair of scissors. Now remember boys and girls, a pair of scissors can be very, very dangerous. So when you are done using it, please make sure that you put it away. This is not a toy. And then the next thing that you're going to need is some glue. This is print stick glue, which means that it can come up and down when you need it. So we are going to start by cutting a few papers. You can also tear them with your hand, but I have decided to cut mine. So here are my papers, they are everywhere on my table. So I'm going to take my teddy bear, just like the one in your booklet, and I'm gonna take a few papers, open up my glue, and glue a few of them. 
Now because this is a picture, I'm going to act like I'm coloring. I can't just stick anywhere, boys and girls. I need to start somewhere. So I'm going to start with the top of the teddy's head. Remember when you're putting glue, you don't need that much. So all you need to do is just put your little paper nicely, rub a little glue, and then stick it. So far, I've decided to make the teddy bear's head blue. Now you can use any papers you like, magazine papers that are colorful, or other color, colorful papers like a newspaper. And as you are gluing, make sure that you are taking your time, don't rush, so that you don't make a mess as well. I want to show you what my teddy bear looks like right now. And when I'm done for a little while or when I stop, I put my glue cap on. And so far, my teddy seems to have a blue head. Now I'm going to continue with my teddy and make sure that the whole body of the teddy is covered in papers. Remember, you don't need a lot of paper, just a little bit. And you can use any kind of paper a picture of something you can cut it up or tear it up as well make sure that when you are done you have not left any spaces <laughs> so i will see you soon boys and girls after the advert break do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program please contact us on 081 74 3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. We have now come to the end of our lesson, boys and girls, and I hope you had so much fun. I know I had fun with you, and I know that you finished your work. But remember, if you didn't manage to finish because you were not sure, or you don't know what to do, it's okay to ask an adult for help. Just make sure that you end up finishing by yourself. So now that we are done with our lesson, it's time to sanitize. So let's take our sanitizer and we are going to rub inside our hands, in between our fingers, around our hands, very good, on our wrists and our fingertips too. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. I wonder though, my friend saw she said he was going to come. Where is he? Sashi? <laughs> Hello, Sashi. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Meerkat Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.